Right, uh, I'll just sort of do a quick video on how to install decals the wet method, how I do it. I don't know if it's the best way, but it works for me. So what I do with the main cabinet is um, just give it a rub down with alcohol, get rid of the bugs off it. Um, because this side, the back side, is actually sitting on the cabinet. So what you don't want is specks of dust or dirt or something like that on there. So once you give them that a quick rub, I'll give it another quick one before we install it. Um, you peel back the backing, just about, I don't know, 25 or 30 centimetres. And then you get your system across here. My lovely pregnant wife. So just peel back about that far. Just hold it on the edges. Doesn't matter if you hold the sticker on the edges because that's not going to be part of it. That'll be trimmed up later. So then you just trim that off. Make sure there are no creases in it, and then just put it back on, but overlap it by about 10 millimeters or so. And You'll see why this works as we stick it on the cabinet. So once you've done that, that's pretty much all you need to do. Give this another wipe, and then we'll go and put it on the cabinet. Right, same thing on the, um, the cabinet itself. This is just isopropyl alcohol. Um, I have given this a rub down before a bit more carefully, so this is really just a a triple check to make sure that there's no dust or dirt or anything. Um, so you can see, I might do another video later on with one of my other restores, but you spend a heck of a lot of time getting this cabinet nice and smooth. There were big chunks out of the cabinet, delamination, um, a lot of time with bog and um, spray putty and spray around the edges here so that when we trim the decal, it's mainly black, you see. Okay, what we've done is um, I've just put the decal on. And the other thing you can see, I've put some um, masking tape along the edge with paper, because when you squeegee the water out, um, it stops it running on the base, which is just a MDF, and it can swell up. What I do is get a nice bright torch and just run along the edges like this. And what it does, you can see the light of the torch shining through, and you make sure that all the edges are square. Um, getaways pretty forgiving because it's all black anyway if it was a little bit out of square but anyway I've got this perfectly square I put a nice heavy weight transformer in this case on the end here and um, then we'll start peeling the decal off up this end so this is the end that we've cut and I did stuff up a little bit normally I'd start from the, the other end so what we'll do is fold that back and peel the backing paper off. Just be careful that it doesn't crease and stick on itself. You got it? Mm -hmm. Probably actually better peeling it back that way. We're all amateurs. So, and this is where you start to go nuts with the. So this is just water with um, a good dash of detergent on it. And pretty much. Can you come around this end? <coughs> Make sure that your helper is holding it like this and not just in the middle. And then it's just a matter of pulling it down like this. Okay. Now there's going to be a bubble here, but we'll sort that out later. Don't no stress about it. See some of the water coming out? It's all good. Right, put it down. So all you do, this is like a one dollar squeegee thing from Bunnings. Um, that's all I'm worried about doing right now. So then transfer our weight so it stays in square down to this end. 
hand, then we start peeling the backing paper off the other side. If you come in here. Probably going to be in the road a little bit here. So, just we make sure it's not creased too much there. That'll all be trimmed off so it's sort of biggie. Um, can you stand there at the back? So just get your um, able assistant to hold it like that. Now it is a bit, because it's wet underneath, you'll um you will peel off a bit of the decal that you'd already previously stuck down, um, which is why I've got the transformer there. In fact, it's come pretty much right off, which is fine. That's the beauty of the wet method. Just pull it up a bit, sweetie, please. Okay. So what we don't want is any of this non-wetted stuff to stick down on the cabinet just yet and I'm quite happy pulling off quite a lot of the decal um, you know don't be scared to spray water around yeah. even if your assistant doesn't like it okay you walk around this side sweetie so I've got about half of it off there. Linda will, will keep that straightish. Now, you're obviously not yanking on it too much, but just enough pressure to try and keep it square. And this is where you start up that end normally. But again, the wet method, you've got a fair bit of flexibility, um, which is great. So all I'm doing is squeezing this out some people have suggested you um, squirt the top layer so this slides over easily. That'll work perfectly fine as well. So if you can just hold the, the, that part, yep. Maybe up a smidge higher. I'll pull it back in the paper. Yep, so what we're doing, Linda's just holding it up, getting her pregnant belly out of the road. Um, make sure it stays up. And I'm going to peel the rest of her off. And as a safety precaution, I'm just going to squirt under here in case it drops down for one reason or another. And you do need to be just a little bit careful as you're coming right to the end here. And you can see the whole thing's peeled off. Luckily we've got the weight down the end. So I just like to grab the one end here. There we go. Oh, very easy. Throw that away. Wet everything up nice and wet. Okay, and then Linda will actually can you lift that up, please, Don. We've got a little bit of a crease there, and you can see how easy it is to pull out. Right out, and then she'll just keep the tension on it as I gradually pull it towards it. And again, if we get little bubbles in there, it doesn't matter at all. We can squeeze them out. Not going to go down a bit low. Down a bit. Down, keep it down. And this is probably one of the worst cabinets for making sure you don't get bubbles on because it's a fairly glossy back, black the whole way through, you will see if there are imperfections. Um, so again, we get water coming out the end here. We'll just give her a bit of a dry on the cabinet. This is all painted um, ply, so it's pretty good in terms of its waterproofing. And that's that. So now all I do is pull up my weight. And um, just make sure, like, there's a few wrinkles here, and you probably can't hear them, but I can just hear the, I can hear the air going out of it and the water. And so when you've got that bubble, um, it's really easy when you do it with the wet method. So, and then you just, I like to look at it at a very low angle. Um, there's a tiny couple of bubbles here. There we go. The water's come out. And again, I just make sure on this MDF, the base, but that the the, the, the um, newspaper's protected up there. Have a look at it from all angles. 
and that's looking pretty schmicko. So, um, like I said, don't be afraid to up it with the water. Um, you got a bit of time to to get these bubbles out, and um, as you can see, pretty easy. Right, out. then you trim it. So I've got a, a nice straight edge here, and what I tend to do is just keep a bit over a fingernail width of the cabinet in there. Get a sharp scalpel or Stanley knife blade new one and then just run along with even gentle pressure nice firm pressure on the straight edge so you don't slip try to do it all in one cut and then this will just peel off and that's that so rip around all the edges like that and um, then I just go through with a, a black texture or a paint pen and just mark the edges of the cabinet, um, any of the blue putty coming through or the edge of the, the sticker. So um, yeah, I'll just run around and do these edges and she's all done. So I hope this has been useful and thanks to my lovely assistant. So that's, uh, that's it done with all the edges trimmed and um, paper cleaned off. So then all you've got to do is um, Drip around your, your cutout holes. So I've just got a scalpel blade here, and again, much easier if you just do it in one motion. These aren't so critical because the they're covered up. It's your, generally your start button hole that's the um, the particularly important one. So all these other bolt ones are, are covered up by things. So yeah, the only other thing I tend to do is just get a nice clean rag and and make sure that you push all the water out um, along the sides make sure everything's pressed down um, and I don't really know what the how long you need to leave things for but I just tend to let them sit overnight or 24 hours um, before I touch anything um, don't put your bolts in straight away um, let, let all the water evaporate and um, yeah if you did end up with a bubble that, that had water I think you can hit it with a blow dryer or prick it with a pin um, and squeeze squeeze some water out but you can see because I spent the time preparing the cabinet it, it all went on with absolutely no worries at all.